Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday the 31st of January and this is my weighing update. I'm not going shopping later on today. I'm probably going to do that later on in the week just because I don't actually need to go shopping yet. So I know that normally on a Monday I'll post my um, shopping haul, my meal plan and my weighing update. But I thought I'll just pop my weighing update on for today. And then as the week progresses, when I do go shopping, I will show you my shopping haul and also my menu plan for this week so that you can see what I'm planning on doing for the rest of the week. So also apologies, I know I've not popped on the um, what I ate last week and what I ate over the weekend. I have got them both ready to go. It's just simply a case of uploading and they're not mega massive, like they're not too, too long or anything. It was just a case of getting around to doing it because we've just had a really busy weekend. Um, but yeah, I'll pop them on later on today. So they should be up today so that you can see what I've had last week and what I had over the weekend for um, the result that I've ended up with today. So yeah, you can see those later. Um, so yeah. But just recapping over the week, I've had, um, if you've caught my vlogs previously, you'll know that I, my husband had his birthday and we planned to have a takeaway to celebrate his birthday. So he could choose where he wanted to go. It was completely and utterly his choice. And my husband is a massive burger fan. So he chose that he wanted to go to this like speciality burger place and unfortunately i don't eat red meat and they didn't do any vegetarian options so him and the kids went to that one and got takeout there and i ended up getting a mcdonald's instead just because i wanted to try out their new mcplant burger i don't know if anyone's seen it advertised so i really wanted to try that out so um because it was on the way back home it was just easy and convenient for me to go to McDonald's and pick up a takeaway there and then take it home. So that's what I ended up having. So on Monday, I did run it through the Slimming World app. I, I, I was completely honest with it and I popped everything through the app and I ended up having 53 and a half sins on Monday alone because I got the McPlant burger, I got a large portion of chips, I had a Diet Coke, because obviously Diet Coke, when you're eating all that, is definitely going to help. <laughs> um, and I also got a hot apple pie and I had one of those little, um, what are they called? Sweet curry sauces, the little pots. So yeah, I ended up having all that and it equated to 53 and a half sins. Well, no, it didn't actually, because I had one of those bachelor's um, pasta and sauces for my lunch lunches lunch that day so that was the half a sin and then the rest of it from Slimming, um, from Slimming World from McDonald's was 53 sins so yeah definitely well well over my 15 sins that day but like I said it was planned to be off plan and I've said all along that I'm not going to let life interfere with no, not life interfere with, sorry, I'm doing it backwards. I'm not going to let my dieting journey interfere with life. I'm not going to use it as an excuse and have every single week as a treat week or anything like that. But when I have got celebrations coming up, then I'm going to enjoy them. I'm not going to have any guilt. I'm just going to draw a line under it and I'm going to move on and get straight back onto plan again. Because I think that's been one of my massive downfalls in the past that I've ended up restricting myself denying myself of treats, having a drink if we've gone out, you know, having what I want off the menu if we've been out to a restaurant, you know, if we've been to parties, I've avoided the buffet table and I've just ended up feeling like I'm being tortured instead and then it's not any fun. So this way around, hopefully it works for me because it hasn't in the past when I've denied myself what I want. But like I said, I'm not going to take the mick and have every day as a treat day or anything like that. It is just literally going to be as and when it is. And thinking now, so we've had my husband's birthday. The next birthday coming up won't be until March the 10th and that'll be Alana's second birthday. So between now and then, I'm just trying to think. No, I can't think of anything. And I mean, I know there's like Valentine's Day and all that sort of stuff. But again, me and my husband, we've been together 18 years. So it's 
Valentine's Day is just another day to us. It's not one of those things that we'll go out and have a big fancy meal or anything like that. We acknowledge it and yeah, cards and stuff, but it's not an excuse to go out for a meal or anything. So yeah, until the 10th of March, I can't see, unless something crops up in between, I can't see anything else getting in my way um, of staying on plan. But you know, things might change. We might get invited somewhere or we end up booking to do something, but I'll keep you posted. Um, so yeah, so obviously I had well over my sins on Monday and then the rest of the week I've stuck to plan. When you see my other vlogs of what I ate in the week and then what I ate over the weekend, you will see that I've stuck to plan. There wasn't any issues with what I've eaten. Just because I had such a heavily sinned day on Monday, again, I've not restricted myself because I want to enjoy Slimming World and it is going to be a journey. I'm serious about losing weight and getting to target hopefully this year but i do have a lot of weight to lose i'm serious about it but i'm still gonna live my life and with that being said i've made sure that i've still had my sins throughout the week because i do enjoy having a sweet treat on an evening and so i have still used my sins and throughout the whole of the week i think i've been and the weekend i think i've been between 10 and 15 sins so I don't think I've ever hit 15 sins yet this week, but I've definitely been over like 10 sins because like I say, I've been having my treats as well and I've been having my healthy extras. I've not denied myself. I've not stabbed myself. I just, I can't do it. And like I say, I want to enjoy everything that I'm eating and I want to enjoy the journey. I don't want it to just be a quick fix because a quick fix will just end up with me yeah falling off of the slimming world wagon again and end up putting it all back on again so yeah so i stuck to plan but i've still used my sins and because i know some people are trying to have a sim free week to try and pull it back but i thought i planned on that on monday what it is is what it is and i'm just going to continue to live life so straight back on it on tuesday and yeah just continued the week as as you will have seen if you've watched those vlogs so yeah so going to Slimming World today, I wouldn't have been surprised if I've gained. I wouldn't have been um, surprised if I've maintained. It would have all explained itself completely because of Monday. So it was a, it was going to be absolutely fine. I was going to take whatever hit the scale had to say. Um, obviously, if I'd have lost, then I would have been happy. But whatever the scale did say was understandable because of Monday with how over my sins I've gone. And if you think of it in a calorie respect, then I would have been well over my calories for the week. So if I did manage to lose anything, it would have been a miracle. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing on about that now. So, yeah, went to group. Not expecting anything major got on the scales and I have managed to lose half a pound so that's absolutely fine that's a block of lard as my Slimming World consultant always tells us and she's got the blocks of lard um, so yeah half a pound off it's off it's not on it's not a maintain so I'm super 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 chuffed would I have liked to have lost more absolutely did I expect to not even in the slightest but it is what it is isn't it so that means in total for the month of January, because obviously this is my last weigh-in for January, it means I'm finishing January losing £10, which is amazing. I would have loved it to have been a stone by now, but it is what it is and I've still managed to lose £10, so I'm super, super chuffed. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm finishing January on. Um, I've set myself £4 for next week how doable that'll be is anybody's guess but i have set myself four pound for next week so i'm gonna need an absolute robust menu plan lots and lots of speed my consultant's been talking about um this month it's free food february so to just be bulking everything up with free food so i think i might set myself some little challenges throughout february and you know i might try and do stuff like have a week where i have no sins or maybe just a couple of days where i have no sins and then ones where i maybe 
do a week where I have a recipe out of a Slimming World book every single evening. So I'm having something different all the time, maybe different lunches every day, breakfast. I don't know. I'm going to think of a few personal challenges to set myself and I'm going to go from there. But obviously I'll keep you updated as and when I think of the challenges and I'm doing them. But one that I am going to do is on Gemma Peace Goods um, page, if anybody, page, channel, if anyone follows her, just pop over and um, also catch her. She does um, calorie counting. She used to do Slimming World and then she's gone to calorie counting, where, which a lot of my Slimming World um, other YouTubers have managed to do, they've flipped over to calorie counting, which if it fits in someone else's life, then that's absolutely amazing. All these journeys are completely different for everybody out there. Um, but she is doing a challenge throughout the whole of February, which I think I'm going to tag on to as well, which is to do 10,000 steps a day, which I know 10,000 steps sounds like a lot, but then isn't a lot, but it is a lot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that is definitely the first challenge I'm going to do throughout February is to try and get 10,000 steps a day, which means I'm going to have to get my butt up and I'm going to have to move because I do find myself that when I've got a bit of downtime, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm not doing much. I'm playing with the kids from the couch and stuff like that. So it's going to get me up and going to get me moving. We've got a park, which is literally 60 seconds walk from our house. So there is zero excuse. The weather's not the best. It's absolutely Baltic. I don't know what it's like by you guys, but it is freezing here. Um, and it keeps raining off and on. But again, I'm not going to use it as an excuse. Even if I have to run up and down the stairs. And I mean, we've got a couple of floors because we've converted the loft. So I'm just going to have to get my bum moving. Do some um, fitness videos. The Slimming World have now posted loads of fitness videos for all sorts of different levels. You can access it through the website. I think only if you're a member that you'll be able to get to them. I don't think if you're a non-member you'll be able to get to them. I don't know. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I'm just going to have to start doing them. You know, we've got Just Dance and everything like that at home. So I'm going to have to just start moving my bum. Because I'm definitely jumping on board. So let me know in the comments below if anyone else thinks that... You know, if anyone else likes the sound of that challenge. And if you're going to jump on board too. Um, of doing 10,000 steps a day and then like I say February I'm just going to keep it fresh and I'm going to do all sorts of different challenges just so I don't fall into a rut and I don't end up um, losing heart with Slimming World or just dieting full stop healthy eating full stop because it's easily done January is over with pretty much now and it is easy to just slip back into old habits because I was um, reading something just the other day saying that this week that we've just had is the week that everybody lets themselves go again. So any dieting plans, they've been shelved by now. Any um, gym memberships are now going abandoned. You know, any kind of New Year's resolutions that you've done to improve yourself has pretty much been boxed off and put away for the rest of the year by now so I don't want to be one of those statistics and fall into that I want to see this through the whole of the year and then when it comes to next new year's resolution I don't have to be putting on to get to target as one of my new year's resolutions my new year's resolution hopefully next year will be maintain that's what I'm hoping for but time will definitely tell and I am going to do everything in my power to get to it so anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on now. Um, so yeah, just to recap, I've lost half a pound this week, which means £10 lost throughout the month of January. I think it's something like, let me have a look. Let me get my Slimming World book. One second. How many weigh-ins have I had? So one, two, three, four, five. So five weigh-ins, £10 gone. That's an average of £2 a weigh-in, um, £2 each week, um, even though one time I maintained and then this time I've lost half a pound, but one time I lost £5.5. So I'm down to 16 stone and £3 now, and I started at 16 stone 13. So yeah, a clean £10. You can see there all my different ones that I've done. Five and a half, maintained, two, two, and then half today. So like I said, I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to continue 
and I know the reason why it was only half a pound so it's not like I've stuck to plan 100% and I don't understand the reason why that it's backfired because I do know the reason why so yeah so I'm going to leave it there do make sure you catch my other vlogs like I say the um what I ate over the last week and then over the weekend and then as this week progresses I'll continue to film my what I eat in a days and then post it on Friday um, all of it together and as soon as I do any shopping hauls and my menu plan I will let you know what it's going to be to get me that £4 this week I'm going to have to because I have a, I have already done a menu plan but I think because I want to get that £4 now I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit and think of some things that might give me a speedier weight loss so I'll let you guys know as soon as I've done that and I'll probably just film it separate so that if you want to catch my menu plan then you can easily pick that one up but if you're not interested then obviously you don't have to watch that vlog so it just makes it easier for you but yeah I'm going to leave it there and I will catch you all later on so as always thank you so much for watching if you've not subscribed please subscribe to my channel because I'm um, slowly increasing in subscribers and I'd love to get to a thousand um, subscribers sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, I will say goodbye. I hope you're all having a fabulous week. Let me know how you guys have got on with your slimming journey so far, if you're on one and I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.